Um, you know, this is again, this is a scan that has, uh, you know, we're having problems with the, with the directory. You know, it failed something dealing with opening the file and, and that's probably a credential or it's trying to write it to uh, a location that it can't get to. So check your location, check your credentials. Uh, the, the location is what, the working directory, right? Yeah, so and if we, you have, uh, you know, C semicolon backslash temp, it's not going to work. It's yeah, going to be C right. colon. That's, I saw that yesterday. Now, then it comes installing the patches. So here, you're, again, you're looking at, now this is the system log, right? This is, uh, are we still on the... Um, this the, is agent procedure log. So agent, yeah. Still agent procedure log. Okay, so it's yep. still the agent procedure log. So here, this is a normal execution of patches. Top. What's that? Bottom to top. So it's 615 yep. at the bottom, then it goes up, so you're reading yep. up. And moves up. Sure. And now here's where you've had something fail. So it basically said that, you know, you're getting a failed message in there. So the bottom line is, you know, check this, uh, see, you know, see what's going on there. Um, again, this could be a bad credential. It didn't have rights to, to write something to that directory um, or it, it having problems downloading it. So, again, check the credentials. Well, in here, it probably wasn't the download pro it, it probably downloaded it fine, but mm -hmm. it had a problem executing it. Executing so the it. credentials weren't enough to actually execute the, uh, the patch. Okay. All right, so bottom line is you're reviewing these logs, looking for hints. So, you know, the summary of all this is, look, if the scan is working okay, and the download is working okay, and the execute seems to be working okay, but you're not getting the patch installed, chances are it's not Kaseya. There's a problem with the machine. Something's going on on that machine. It just will not accept that patch. And then you you got to go to the machine and start troubleshooting. Look at the event log on the machine. See if you see any errors in, in either system or application log. Look at the Windows Update log file. You know to see if there's something there, a little hint as to what's going on. And bottom line is take that same patch and and you you know the location and everything. Download it directly from Microsoft and manually apply the patch. You can manually apply an individual patch. You know it doesn't all have to be done. You could run Windows Update if if you're able to to run it, but you could run just that patch if you wanted to. And often when you run it manually from the machine itself, you'll see what the problem is. You right. get you know, to step three and it'll say this service doesn't is disabled. So right. you enable the and service you, while it works. Right. And you won't always know that if you know when it's being done silently. Okay, so try to download and install the patches manually. Now you're going to have times um, where there's a patch that's stuck for whatever reason. This patch will not apply, and the problem is, uh, Kaseya is you know sending the command out. It's failing, but it's still trying. Like every day, it's trying to do the patch over and over and over again. Um, and it may be the machine is rebooting. It may be that they're getting the pop-up on the screen, you know, the nag screen that it needs a reboot. So, you know, if that's happening, uh, what you can do is, you know, go in and look at the patches that are missing for that machine and take the lowest number patch, okay? It always starts at the bottom and works its way up, right? Actually, I guess it's at the top. Well, it, when I say missing, it's, one would be, yeah. it's yeah, so, 216 is lower number. So you're kind of starting at the lowest number, which is at the top here. And, and basically kill that, you know, try to kill the, the oldest one. Just, just go in there and ignore it, you know, put it aside, deny it for the time being, and then see if the other ones will install fine, and then we can go back and figure out why that one didn't run. So when they execute, you know, you read it on the log, the lowest one is the, rec is the oldest one. When you look at missing, the one at the top is, is you know, the, the, the oldest one that needs to be applied first. So you're going to basically go in and ignore that patch and see if the other ones will install because this is probably the one that's in the way okay um, and we talk yeah so basically if, if you're looking to ignore the patch just go into the patch update find the patch go to machines you know click on the machine and then set it to ignore and that way that machine will not try to apply the patch and that way that'll give you time to kind of go in there and figure out what's going on without the nag screen keep coming up for your client you know so you can kind of research it a little bit or work with it off hours when they're not there um, if you have problems applying patches um, take a look at the, um, the the working drive so the normal default setting is to check this copy the packages to the working directory on the local drive with the most free space now 
this was set up in the days when the C drive, you know, had not a lot of space left on it, right? We only had, you know, 4 gig and 8 gig partitions. Now, if you've got plenty of space on your C drive, then uncheck this and let it force it to put it. That's where the first place it's going to try to put it is the C drive. But if and you even if you, know, if you have the next one checked, delete package after install, you're not going to take up space long term anyway. This is right. in case the you know you had that little space that downloading the patch would actually cause problems while it was installed. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to like a service pack, I mean, if you don't have room to download a service pack, then that's a problem. You know, so you've got to put it on a D drive or set you know set it to be a different location, um, and and you can click the button. I mean, this is a screenshot, but you could click the button and set that for the for the machines. All right. Now, if you're using local file sources and and uh we can uh, let's let's say that for a little bit i may come back to that because i want to talk about a couple of things i'll show you in this next slide but if you are using local file source um and again if you're having problems with a patch uh go into that machine hit the clear cache button it'll actually wipe out the cache and it'll reload and re-download the patch it could be that that patch just got corrupted during the download or or you know while it was being applied and possibly by clearing it, it'll it'll take care of it. Okay, so feel free to clear the cache. The local file source is automated. It'll just rebuild it on its own, but it will download it again. All right.